Hey guys, I'm uh, Yariv Bash. I'm the uh, founder of SpaceAL. Anyone heard about SpaceAL? Well, if you haven't, SpaceAL is uh, about to launch an Israeli spacecraft to the moon by the end of this year, an unmanned spacecraft, uh, scheduled to land by uh, February next year. So if you're not following that, you should. Uh, that uh, once we land, we'll be the fourth nation to make it to the surface of the moon after just, just three small uh, countries the United States, uh, the Soviet Union, and China just two years ago. And what China just did two years ago as, a, as an empire, Israel is doing as a not-for-profit with 40 full-time employees. Uh, but I'm here to talk with you about uh, my new venture, about uh, Flytrex. Basically, Flytrex is building the world's largest on-demand food delivery service. We start with food, but at the end we can deliver anything currently below three kilograms, but as drones advance, we'll be able to carry more, uh, more payloads. And you might ask yourself, okay, wh what's the problem? Well, the problem is humans. Uh, humans can't reach anywhere. It's hard to scale fleets of humans, especially when you're talking about food. You've got two peaks in during lunch and during the evening. Uh, humans don't scale that, uh, that nice. Uh, humans are slow. We make mistakes, we make wrong turns. Uh, we get stuck in traffic. And at the end, the cost is quite high today for uh, food deliveries. You don't pay all of that, but the restaurant you're ordering from is paying most of the food delivery cost. And even at a cost of 6 to $8, all those companies, those huge, huge companies you hear about, are barely making a profit. Uh, but it's working, so if it's working, why change it? Well, it's not working that good. The potential for only, only food delivery in the States is more than $200, 000, $200 billion. Currently, only 5% of that is, is being utilized. And the reason is that all the, uh, the big companies like Uber Eats, Postmates, all those guys, they're working mainly in the center of towns, in the most dense areas of the, the urban cities. Uh, while most of the population, especially here in the States, uh, sits in, in private housings with backyards, and it doesn't make any sense for the uh, scooters and cars to arrive there. The cost is too high. It's either you'll pay too much for your lunch or dinner, or that the uh, courier won't be getting enough money. So how does the future look like? After ordering your food, all you have to do is just wait for, to, uh, for the food to arrive. You receive a notification that the drone has arrived. You don't have to do a thing besides press that you approve the delivery. The drone arrives. It doesn't land, just lowers the package to your backyard. We control the, uh, the speed of the landing, so if you've got a beer bottle, it can be slower. If it's something less fragile, we can lower it a lot faster to the ground. Uh, there's no interaction between the end user and the drone. I don't expect you to learn anything or know anything about drones. All you care about is receiving your goods or your food. And it's a lot less uh, noisier because the drone stays up there and doesn't land in your, in your backyard. So what do we offer? Uh, we offer something which is ultra fast. Uh, it's a lot faster. Think about getting your sushi or hamburger within 15 minutes instead of a quarter of an hour or even an hour. Uh, the fees that we take from you and the restaurants are less than a half, and it's still profitable for us as a company. It's a very green solution, 100% electric, and you don't have to tip anyone. Plus, you don't even have to get dressed. The food arrives to your backyard, you, you just have to pick it up and walk inside, and you've got your food a lot faster. Uh, there's another nice perk that you can see the drone arriving on a map, and you get an estimated time of arrival, which is uh, up to the second accurate. There's no traffic jams, there's nothing. The drone just flies on a pre-configured route and arrives on the exact second uh, that it was supposed to arrive. We're actually a software company. We do not produce drones. You can think about us a bit like FedEx. FedEx does not produce trucks. We use trucks, or in this case, drones, and we offer a logistic solution for the uh, retail and food uh, industry. Uh, our core technology is the servers that manage everything in real time. We take uh, a drone which is controlled by a pilot with a remote control and we turn it into a fleet that can do logistics beyond visual line of sight uh, without a pilot, without an engineer, 
I'll show you a pod, the, the first product that, project that we've deployed, and the people who are operating the drones are the logistics people of that company. The, the, we gave them a two-day two session uh, training on how to operate the system, and that's it. All they have to do is press a button, and the system takes care of, of everything on its own. So we deployed our, deployed our first project in the capital of Iceland, Reykjavik. Uh, that was in last August. We partnered with AHA. AHA is the largest e-retailer in uh, Iceland. They're like the Amazon of Iceland, so they're a lot smaller. It took us four months from establishing the initial connection, the connection with the company, until we received approval to fly above the city, beyond visual line of sight, uh, delivering packages to people. Uh, the project is, of course, insured, and actually the insurance premium we, we're paying for third-party liability is less than what an Uber driver pays for his car. So even today, insurance companies look at this as a much safer solution than anything else in the market. The initial system that we de deployed uh, required the drone to land on the other side. We've just received approval uh, to deploy the system that lowers the packages on the ground, on, the, uh, on a wire on the other side, and we're gonna expand in the, uh, in the city of Reykjavik in the next following weeks. And hopefully by uh, next year, we'll be in a, uh, in a city where you live, delivering hamburgers and sushis uh, straight to you guys. Thank you. <laughs>